All right, when we deal with construction accounting or contractors accounting as it's also known, there are two methods, the percentage of completion and the completed contract. What we're gonna do is take a look. We have a contract and it's gonna take say two years to build it. So as we're building this item, you can see uh, the project began midway through year one and is completed in year two. Under the completed contract, no revenue slash expenses will be recorded on the income statement until the project is completed. And you ask why? The project has costs that are difficult to estimate and the project is relatively short. Those are the only times that you're allowed to use completed contract. So in theory, what we would have in year one under completed contract is a big fat zero. We'd have no revenue. We would show no expense for cost and therefore gross profit would be zero. At the end of year two, let's hypothetically say that it was a million dollars in revenue, that cost of construction was 650,000. So gross profit would then be reported at the $350,000 amount. All is reported in the year of completion. That's the completed contract method. And therefore you can see how the building is now done and everybody is happy. We will show the revenue, expenses and profits for that building. In the next item, we have a second scenario here, similar to the first, but now we're going to use percentage of completion. So what we do is we look to make sure we have percentages done. So as each floor is added, a percentage of the revenue and the cost will be recognized. So in this particular example, let's just hypothetically say that we have completed, oh, a grand total of 45% of the work at the end of the first quarter based on costs at that time, what we estimated. So at the end of the first year, we would show 45% of the million dollars, which is 450,000. Let's pretend that the cost at that point was $300,000 and that had represented 45% of the total anticipated cost. So we would have gross profit of 150,000. Then at the end of year two, we would ultimately show the balance of the revenue as we completed the project. So that balance of revenue would be 550 minus the additional cost, which could be different than the anticipated amount at the end of year one, could be a different amount, which is 350 in my example, and therefore gross profit would be 200,000. So why? Profit is reasonably estimatable and there is a reliable measure of the progress towards completion. So it is appropriate to use the percentage of completion. Obviously differences between the completed contract and percentage of completion are going to be done. Why a company uses one versus the other is based on the information that you can gain and how much reasonable estimates you can make. There is a financial impact. Obviously in year one of a completed contract, nothing is reflected on the income statement while in the percentage of completion, a pro rata amount shall be. So those are some of the fundamentals that we should be familiar with. So hopefully with that understanding, you're ready to move on and try some problems.